Hi and welcome to our video series in which we are looking at the new features of Grasshopper within the new and shipping version of Rhino 6. You will see a list of the features we are going to explore here. And in this short video, we are going to look at Stretch, which we can get by typing Stretch. Or you can get it from Transform, uh, Morph and then Stretch. Stretch is quite a straightforward uh, component. Uh, it's got a few inputs and it's very easy to use. Um, it's, it needs you to um, create the geometry, like to input the geometry, the axis uh, that you want to stretch and the new axis uh, for stretching basically and whether you want the geometry to be rigid or not. We're gonna explain this now by making an example. So all I need now is to create just a very simple geometry to illustrate. Um, it's important for you to know the units that you are working with. Um, we have this one before. So in this example, I will be working with a sphere. This is the sphere that I'm working with. Uh, I will need an axis as well, so I'm going to create an axis for the sphere um, in the sense that I want to stretch it on that one. Um, so that depends on your work, you can draw the axis that you want to stretch it. Um, so I'm going to create the component geometry and a curve for the axis. Um, I'm going to set an axis and I'm going to set the geometry as well. So I'm going to connect my geometry here and the axis there. So if I am to hide these original shapes, I'll see that the stretch is taken this sort of form. Um, it's important for us to see the units which are going to make me understand why did it stretch it like that. So the unit here uh, of the new length it says 20, uh, while the original one, uh, we can the length is 285. So 20 is quite small, and that's why I can see the shape this way. So I can put a parameter here, uh, like a slider, number slider, and I can say I want to stretch it to a thousand. And if I am to connect this, the shape is going to stretch to a thousand instead of 285. So if I set this to 285, basically, uh, my geometry is going to stay the same and I'm now defining the new axis of the shape by stretching the whole shape that way. Um, like that. And finally, for rigid, it's also a toggle, a Boolean toggle, um, that I can set to false or true. So at the moment it is false, but if I am to set this on true, that means that the shape is going to stay exactly the way it is. But when I am going to ch when I am to change the length of the axis, the new axis, the shape is just going to move um, on it um, by positioning the center of the original axis on the center of the new axis. So. The center of this one will be on the 500, on, in the middle of the new axis. Um, so you, someone might need that in that case. Uh, otherwise, we'll use stretch the way it is. Uh, I hope that this was helpful and thank you very much for listening.